Hey everyone, so to Hey everyone, so today I'm here to do a review on um the Tony Braxton movie that came on last night on Good Old Lifetime. Um Hmm. I personally enjoyed the movie. I thought Lifetime did a great job on the actress that they picked to play Tony, the sisters. I'm gonna get back to Tawanda's character. But um, I thought they did a really good job with casting, the acting, um, just the overall story of Tony Braxton. I mean, Tony Braxton is really one of my favorite R&B singers, but I've never really um, dove into her. Let me get my hair together. I've never really dove into her, Lord Jesus. Okay, sorry. I've never really dove into her personal life story as far as, um, you know, her background. I mean, I know about the bankruptcy and the randomness of all of that, but um, everything else as far as like her contract and all that, like I never really looked into all of that. But overall, in comparison to some of the other movies that they've done, I mean, the 90210 movie wasn't that bad. The Meryl's Place movie wasn't that bad. I'm really, I think everyone is really just going to compare this Tony Braxton movie and as far as if it was good or not based on the Aaliyah movie that was horrendously terrible. Um, it was just horrible. Like, point blank period. It kind of felt like they jumped from A to Z in five seconds of the movie. Like, I really, I don't know. And then they didn't have the right set of music. So it was just a big... The Leah movie was just a hot ass mess um, all together, but I personally liked the Toni Braxton movie. Um, I thought the girl that played her did a great job. I just wasn't a fan of the wig they put on her head when they would do the shortcut that Toni did back and forth throughout her entire career that she currently has now. I just wasn't a big fan of it, but you can definitely tell that, sorry, I don't know what this is, but it is irking my nerves. Okay. Um, you can definitely tell that she had an influence as far as the making and the portrayal and the storyline of her movie simply because um, you can just tell. Like you can just tell that she was involved in the making of the movie which I guess would make it, which is why I guess the movie turned out better than a lot of us anticipated because Lord knows, I know I was on my seat like Lord Jesus, please sweet baby Jesus, do not let, let um, Lifetime jack this movie up like they've done all the other biopics and they actually surprised and they did a good job um was I the only one I was wondering why did why was is that how Tawanda wore her hair growing up the whole freaking pigtails like that was really irking my nerves like it seemed like when they performed in a concert anytime she was on screen it was like one time that she didn't have pigtails in and that was I think much or like towards the end where you know where we picked up to kind of where they are now with the whole movie i mean the tv show and all that but prior to that it was just like every scene no matter where they were if it was a formal wear concert her hair wasn't freaking pigtails like she was peepee long stockings or something like i just did that really was irking my nerves so i'm like girl aren't you over 18 aren't you 30 something plus why are we still wearing these pigtails all throughout maybe that's just what she did all throughout growing up I don't know but that hurt my last nerve um and I guess everyone if you are a social media fiend like me on Instagram like when certain scenes will come up or finish they would post stuff on there and one of the memes that had me rolling was the one about um um pebbles and her husband they were like scammer goals they're like the first they were like the official first scammers it's like which made sense because it seems like every artist with the exception of usher because i guess his mama was hip to the game i don't know but he was the only one that i've never heard of gotten scammed by his contract but it just seemed like with the whole tlc movie um now the tony braxton so it just seemed like a lot of people got scammed in regards to like their contract um but I was just like, mm, side eye. And she was just, Pebbles was just really chippery. I don't know. But then the scene when the mom found out, I know this is not funny, Lord forgive me. 
when the mom found out about their dad cheating and he was locked he locked himself in the room and she was banging going ballistic outside and then she made the call she's like i'm gonna cut it off i'm gonna cut it off i was like oh <laughs> you better stay your ass behind that door because if you come out right now evelyn braxton is not here for it at all whatsoever um what other scene had me I mean, overall, I thought I really, I really enjoyed the movie. I, of course, towards the end, as Tamar got older, you saw her whole dot com and blah blah, like all those lingos that she was popular for when the Braxton Family Values first came out. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I gave the movie a thumbs up. If you disagree, that's fine. You can agree to disagree. If you don't agree, you can put your comments down below, and um, we can discuss it in an adult manner but i enjoyed it i had no major complaints um the guy that played her husband was fine and i was glad to see old boy from the haves and have nots play babyface you know some sometimes depending on the scene and how the camera is angled some of the people actually resembled each other like the girl that played Toni Braxton, some of the scenes when her hair was the longer, when Toni would grow her hair out and it was longer, if you, the way it was angled, you would think that it was her. And the same with the guy that played Babyface. He's the guy from the haves and the have-nots. I don't know if he's gay in real life. He plays gay in the show. But he's buff as hell on the show. I haven't seen the show in a while, but the little bit that I've seen here and there and he doesn't have a shirt on, he's always pretty buff under that shirt. Hmm but um yeah i thought um overall like i said i thought the casting was great i wonder if tamar's gonna have a true life story lord jesus but yeah what i was saying was like the girl you can kind of see how she um embodied tamar's crazy low lingo and demeanor and attitude but um overall i gave the show a thumbs up the show the movie a thumbs up um it definitely made me pull out my old tony braxton and put it on my phone so i can reminisce because i love love me some tony braxton so um great job lifetime maybe you can take some pointers on how you did this particular movie for any future biopics you plan on doing um i hope so because you guys you did a good job i thought it was i thought it was good um and I like how in the end Tony Braxton comes in. I wonder if you guys, did you guys notice that in the end when they were watching her on her comeback with Babyface for their love, marriage, and divorce album at the Grammys, the boy with the hair was her son Diesel that was sitting there? Did y'all notice that? But I like how towards the end they showed her in the same dress she wore for the Grammys, like at the end and saying, you know, looking at her boys in the room. Thought it was a great way to close it. And I like that she narrated in the movie, which makes you know that she was a part of the making of it. So, and maybe that's why the movie turned out good, like I said. But other than that, that's it. Is there any other shows? Like, I'm telling y'all, I'm a, my DVR is so filled. I watch TV. My husband thinks I'm a little bit obsessed, but I DVR a lot of the stuff in case I forget when it's on and then when I have my downtime, I'll watch it. I watch, I've i gotten hooked on The Bachelor. I know, I've never really watched it before, but I watched a show on um, Bravo called The People's Couch. If you guys have never seen The People's Couch, look for it, set it on your DVR. I wish I could be on that show. It's just a bunch, it's like a show about different people just watching tv but like they're watching a show and they're recording their reaction and commentary and it is freaking hilarious so when my friend was here last weekend we were watching it i showed it to her and one of the shows they were talking about was the bachelor and i just got so like mesmerized by how crazy these people are especially old girl lace that we went on the on demand and looked for the first two episodes that were up there and we watched them and i've been watching the bachelor since and I like it. Don't shoot me, but I like it. This season. <laughs> I also watch Exile Island. <sighs> Don't get me started. But yeah, if there are any other shows you want me to give my two cents about, let me know. And if I watch it, I will do a video if you want to see one. But I, I, I enjoyed the Tony Braxton movie. It was awesome. Hope you guys watched it. If you did, let me know what you guys thought about it. Leave your comments 
below and I will try my best to respond. I usually do a pretty good job of responding to comments because um, it comes on my phone or my email and I get a notification on my iPhone for them. So just let me know what your thoughts are. All right, till next time, which will be probably later on tonight because guess what comes on tonight, girl? Housewives of Potomac. Girl, yes. So we will be posting a video after the show. I'm hoping. <laughs> you guys have a good day. Bye.